This is a review for the Samsung Impression feature phone for AT&T. On this side you have the lock switch and the camera button. Other side you have the volume rocker and the multitasking key. On the front you have a large uh, beautiful I think 3.2 inch touch screen AM OLED screen. Bottom, you have a call key, an end key, and a back key. You have the slide out QWERTY keyboard. So let's begin. This is the home screen. You have the Samsung widget bar on the side with shortcuts to widgets. You can drag widgets off the bar if you would like put a shortcut on your desktop put that away and then you can move it around and you can click it and it launches the application In this case it would be the internet this phone is 3G so the internet is pretty fast you can just put them back over here slide and then put the bar away uh, it's a basic home screen you have at the bottom dial it brings you to a large dialing pad it works well uh, then you have contacts this is pretty well thought you can use the side to go to the letters or you can just scroll Then you have the menu. Has a nice transition effect. You have AT&T Music, AT&T GPS, Yellow Pages, Singular Video, Messaging, Address Book. Sorry, Messaging, Address Book, Media Mall, Media Net, Games and Apps, My Stuff, Tools and Settings. <laughs> First off, let's start with uh, messaging since it is a messaging phone. Just tap messaging, it brings you to your inbox. Show you, brings you to your inbox. You can create a message. Uh, you can see your sent messages, your outbox. Uh, they have I am on here, AOL, Windows Live, and uh, Yahoo. They do not have uh, Google Talk. They have email, mobile email. They do not have Gmail, but they have it's a Java program that launches. They have Windows Live, uh, Hotmail, uh, Yahoo, and they also have um, they also have. AOL, email, uh, AT&T, Yahoo, Bell, South, Comcast, Earthlink, Juno, Midspring, and Net Zero. Uh, then that's about it with messaging. Uh, to enter text when you message you can tap on the screen you can use the basic t t9 to say hello and go l l o o or you could turn the phone sideways and automatically change because of the accelerometer inside and go to the full uh, touch screen qwerty uh, hello it has haptic feedback. It vibrates each time you touch it. There's also a handwriting mode that allows you to write H E L L O. 
uh, it's a pretty cool feature. I don't use the text to uh, the text. I usually use the on-screen QWERTY or the slide-out QWERTY, which you can see just changes. Hello. So it's a uh, it's a very nice uh, diversity of ways to enter text to your phone. But yeah, all of them are pretty good. The handwriting. Uh, I don't see it, it being very useful unless you just want to show it off. But this this uh, full screen QWERTY and your uh, actual physical QWERTY are probably going to be your main uh, ways of entering text. Back to the home screen as you hit the end key. You can go to menu and we can take a look at MediaNet. Uh, I do have 3G so the internet should be uh, pretty fast so as you can see this is the home page for AT&T the media uh, net you can hit that button go to this also has uh, accelerometer uh, availability so when you turn the phone the web page turns with it press this button to go full screen scroll press the button to go back uh, to uh, with the address bar on the top you can use the on screen QWERTY or you can slide it up and use your physical QWERTY uh, you want to see a website first we'll go to a mobile website like uh, YouTube so M dot YouTube dot com go you see the internet is pretty fast, you know, 3G. So, YouTube is loaded. You can go to full screen. Uh, yeah, so you can go to full screen. You can see the videos that are on YouTube. So, let me zoom in. Uh, let's watch. The, you can watch videos on here. It does have the uh, streaming video capability, so you can go to YouTube, the mobile site, and watch videos. And since it's on 3G, it's pretty fast, as you can see. It's almost instant. And this is streaming straight from YouTube, the mobile site. But you can see there's no buffering in, uh, after the video starts. pretty what well, is a movie pretty long video just exit goes back right to your page you're on <coughs> now to go to a real website let's go to um let's go to phone dog.com because I know they don't have a mobile site and it has a dedicated dot com button we use the uh, on screen QWERTY pretty nice So this is a real desktop website we're going to visit so it's probably going to take a while even though we're over 3G. Yeah so there it is it was rendering the page uh, I think I clicked on the link on accident so it's gonna do the other page but as you can see it's you know not desktop fast but for a mobile you know non smartphone feature phone browser it's uh, fast and the 3G works well and it's gonna render the page well as you can see uh, while you're browsing on the internet you can use the the bottom rocker, the uh, volume rocker to zoom in and out of your page.
you can also tap this and then use to uh, full screen scroll as you can see it rendered the page nicely zoom all the way out render the page well almost looks like the desktop version zoom all the way in or you can zoom in more but yeah good rendering 